got you an apron and a shirt oh, in here. Oh, good, good. Yeah, you come out. Yeah. Yeah. I was telling you, I was to my, you. I'm fine. How you doing? Good. I was saying to myself, if she don't come on, she's going to be helping us wash dishes. I know. I know. <laughs> I like to um, do what we call Charissa's shift. We try to do one most times when I come back home to the district. I mean, Jones Barbecue is definitely one. I might be a little bit biased. I'm excited to eat some of the food later. Do I look funny because I got the collar? Do it now. All right. I, I got some man, whatever I put on is okay. Yeah. As long that's as I'm kind dressed, of my, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay, there you it's go. All covered up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a law. That's a law. That's a law, right? You know, I just like to come and talk to local business owners and get a sense of um, w what it's like to actually be um, doing the hard work that keeps our economy thriving and uh, keeps the folks in, in our community fed. Mr. Todd, I got you ready, my friend. Uh, so I was actually doing kind of helping um, in the kitchen and uh, at the fire pit. But um, a lot of the things that I like to talk to folks about is what kind of, um, as small business owners, issues they face. And uh, a lot of times it's things like access to capital. Uh, we were actually just talking about what it'll take to get a second fire pit out here. And um, that's not necessarily a federal issue. It happens um, sometimes at the state or community, locality level. But those are the kinds of things that I think it's important for folks who are creating and passing large uh, pieces of legislation. You know, I'm on the Small Business Committee. I want to make sure that I have a lot of times the questions that I should be thinking about when I'm reading through um, or trying to come up with policy solutions. Uh, Congress is on uh, approximately six week recess from voting and it gives us an opportunity to spend as much time as we can in our districts and doing things like this. That doesn't mean that the, the leadership should stop some of the very important negotiations that are happening. Um, in those uh, high-level meetings. For Kansas, the uh, USMCA um, is going to be really, really important. And it's for a lot of reasons, you know, whether it's our agricultural folks or also the provisions that they're actually trying to hammer out now. Um, you know, the, the labor folks are very um, interested to make sure that the speaker continues conversations about um, you know, provisions as it relates to, to making sure workers are taken care of here and in, um, in other countries.